Hello and welcome to the Planet Pearl podcast. If you're new here, my name is Pearlin and this is a podcast about knitting, crochet and all the crafty things I make from my home in Christchurch, New Zealand. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and I'm so glad that you chose to spend your time with me. Right now, because of the uh, COVID-19, we are in lockdown and I thought that I will come here and do a little podcast because it has been a long break and I have been so busy with so many things going on around here. We are in lockdown now, like I said, and I'm so glad to have this time together with my family. They are all here and um, I am also so grateful for all the positivity and kindness um, and for all the support I see everywhere around. So it is um, good to be in my little bubble doing um, the things that I love, which is um, spending time with my family, cooking a lot, um, just uh, enjoying the slow days. So that's basically what we are doing right now, just enjoying our time together and um, cherishing each other's company. So I have a, a project that I finished back in February and I was meaning to come here and show it but it never happened and um, the first project so I have is a Getting Warmer Cowl by Spastrico. It is, um, it is a really fast and fuss free pattern that I made with Outlaw Nyx yarn which is 70% uh, poil worth and 30% uh, silk. The fabric is really soft and um, uh, lovely and I can see myself wearing it a lot when we get out uh, because the weather is also cooling down here uh, in the southern hemisphere and um, this is my first um, project. Wear it for you. So this is how it looks on me and um, I really love it. It's a, it's a really cozy um, cover for my shoulder, especially when I um, like to take my dog out for walks. So that's my first um, finished object. Um, and the second finished object I have is a pouch that I made. I am really obsessed with bags and pouches and this is uh, one of the Michael Miller uh, fabrics I think um, I have um, lined it with um, a matching fabric and um, this has lovely uh, makeup print and I I am planning to use this to carry some of my essentials in my purse and um, this is my second finished object uh, because we are in the lockdown, I have been doing a lot of cleaning, decluttering, reorganizing and things like that. And I uh, found two of my uh, finished objects that I had finished a long time back. But I um, thought it would be interesting to show because I have never shown it um, anywhere. I have not uh, vlogged or um, vlogged about it. So I thought I will show it here. So the first... Um, old project is this little um, crochet pouch that I made this was I think I made it in 2015 sometime around that time and it's made with um, uh, DMC cotton yarn and um, it has a little tassel on the side which is from um, uh, variegated yarn. Um, it is a tassel made with a variegated yarn and I also made a rose uh, with um, with the same variegated yarn. So um, the rose is like a, a closure for the uh, for the pouch and you can uh, close it and it looks like this. 
so it's my own pattern and I have thought about writing it down for a long time and um, I didn't take any notes or anything and so I completely forgot um, how to do it maybe I um, I have not um, actively crocheted for a long time now and um, this uh, finding this pouch has made me realize I should do a little bit more now um, anyway that's a, a, a finished a pouch that I have and then this is another cowl that I made um, again sometime in 2015 so this yarn um, was dyed by um, my son, my younger son and me and I made uh, this cowl with a simple strip of uh, sweet stitch and then I added little pom-poms on the side, on the ends so that it can be like that and um, I think it's a fun little um, um, accessory to wear. I do love these pom-poms. They are really cute, I think. There was a hole in this one. I accidentally, accidentally ripped it somehow and then I again um, stitched it back. So that's the cowl that I, the yarn that I dyed and made um, into a, a finished project. So this is another one that I really like and I wanted to show it on um, here. So that's my another old one so you can see it here and between all the clearing and um, all the work that I've been doing around the house having all the people in the house feels like um, it's it's really good but it's also a lot of work and I have not been able to um, knit a lot on snatching a few stitches here and there while I was waiting at the airport for my husband to arrive I um, cast on a little hat and it's called Skyping Beanie. I cannot remember who made it but I will put the name. And I had just, um, I had made a little bit of progress on this and now I have come to the body part which is, it is a very simple and um, easy knit again and it's made with Vanitas, uh, that's um, Polworth, Alpaca, uh, possum bend and it's made from the called outlaw. It's coming along really well. I have my dragonfly stitch marker from Buttons by Benji. Um, so I love that and uh, I'm making it with shagoo needles in 4.4 mm and um, that's my work in progress and I have it in my uh, project bag called Hold and Cherish that I made uh, some time back. I made quite a few of these and I gifted some to my friends and while I was cleaning I found this bag as well and I thought I'll have one for myself um, so that's my bag it has a linen bottom and um, cotton on top and it's lined with a polka dot a fabric inside so it's not uh, interfaced so it's just um, easy to just crunch up and throw it in a basket or a bag. That's one work in progress. And the next one that I've not really worked on much is um, the Color Affection shawl. I'm almost running out on um, yarn in this one and so I have not um, worked on it much because I'm worried that I'll run out of yarn halfway through the project. But um, this is what I've been working on. Um, so that's the color affection shawl. I am in color 2 in the section 2. So I'm using Outlaw yarn again and it's in the um, line called Little Bandit one. And I'm using a 4mm uh, chagu needles again for it. And I have it in my Fantails, um, Fantails Knits bag. And it's a, it's a bag that Deb got me from Can a long time back and I have a little brooch on the front that my friend Mimi uh, gave me a long time ago and this ladybug was also a gift from a swap a long time ago and I thought I will have them um, on here and I also added a couple of 
um, pins that we sell at the shop and that's one is that uh, we're all uh, mad here and the other one is plot twist so those are my um, pin collection and that's, that's pretty much what I have here other creative thing that I have been doing is my journal it has helped me um, process a lot of my thoughts and it's a therapeutic craft for me I have been doing a lot of that so I have been doing a lot of that. friend got me a journal uh, sometime back when she was traveling the book is called Grace Laced by Ruth Chow uh, Simons it is a beautiful book with a lot of uh, watercolor paintings and devotion so I use it for devotions and also for journaling through these um, watercolor um, florals I love florals so that's what I paint mostly and love watercolors so that's basically what I use a couple of pages I did this is one this is just a painting and most of the time it depends on how I'm feeling and on what I'm journaling it's like a catch-on art page like the one that I have here and um, sometimes have a gratitude page book the book is um, Hobonichi Kusun which is dateless bookmarks are from the bet of just not knots I think I'll put the name down below so that's what I'm uh, doing at this time and I'll keep you updated of how it's going um, on during the lockdown and uh, I'll keep in touch. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.